On Thursday, February 4th, the avalanche danger rose to high, and we issued the first of five consecutive avalanche warnings for the Swan and Flathead zones. Reports of intentionally, remotely, and accidentally triggered avalanches continued for nine days through Saturday the 6th. Our snowpack was not to be trusted and resembled a scary Colorado continental snowpack more than the northwest Montana pack we're familiar with. Many of the slides failed in a buried layer of surface ore above the January 13th crust. This notorious weak layer was responsible for impressive fracture lines and dangerous conditions. Riders reported close calls, including an incident in the northern Whitefish Range where a snowmobiler was caught and carried. An avalanche involving a group of snowmobilers occurred on February 6 in the Wounded Buck drainage in the Swan Range. Preliminary reports indicate an avalanche hit the whole party of five, unfortunately one of whom did not survive. On Super Bowl Sunday, a cold Arctic air mass spilled over the Continental Divide, resulting in frigid temperatures, breezy northeast winds, and dry conditions. On Tuesday, we dropped the avalanche danger too considerable, as our weak layers were now buried up to four feet below the surface, resulting in less direct feedback, but still a concerning problem. Well below normal temperatures and dangerous wind chills remain through the work week. The bitterly cold weather is inhibiting the strengthening of buried weak layers and keeps the persistent slab as a lingering problem going forward. For more information, please visit our website, flatheadavalanche.org.